So what's next, you think? Lido, huh? Lido Beach. Yeah. You know how cold it is over there? Oh, yeah. You are bugging. I'm actually Dude. down, man. I'm, down? I'm feeling it, yeah. All right. All right. It's a nice my, day out. I got a stunt stick. You ride this. Thanks. Oh man, I was here like last week, but I haven't skated like probably like three months. For real. How many people said, like, oh, you just Eugene will push and you're psyched? Everybody, right? It's a general consensus. <laughs> He's almost like the legend, like, you know what I mean? Like, you hear the legend. It's like Bigfoot, you know? Like, does Bigfoot really exist? People claim to see him. So it's like with Gino, like, when you see him pushing, you're like, oh my god, he's pushing. You see him? Oh my god. Ah. He, hands down, has the best style ever, ever. Oh. You know, and even when Gino's long gone, it's going to be like, oh, he had the best style ever, Gino Iannucci. That's just what it's going to be. Hi, welcome back to the show. Since this show started, you know, it started and it was a lot of my friends at first. It's getting all these people I knew would be down just because I know them. I begged them. Uh, Gino's friend Ray called me and was like, hey, you want to do an episode with Gino? And I was like, hell yeah, we'll be there Sunday, you know? So we came the next day, drove to Gino's. Even his own sponsors were shocked. I think Gino's kind of been uh, flying under radar. It was just sort of one of those miracles of the show, like, holy crap, we got Gino on our show. It's pretty much it. It's just a day in Long Island with Gino talking about skateboarding and, you know, seeing a little bit of what he's up, been up to lately. You gonna put a sign up there? Yeah. This is like a continuation of a shop you already had. Yeah. <clears throat> Poets was uh, out in Hicksville, Long Island, like maybe, I don't know, about five years ago. There's a bunch of stuff we still gotta do. Are you gonna repaint the walls? Are you gonna keep this like funeral home vibe? The, honestly, like the we, I just walked into the place and it was just like this. And you know what? I'm running with it. As of right now, it's looking like that's gonna be like the shoe wall. Those are gonna be the board walls. I actually looked into uh, running this place like a little bit after I closed the other shop. I seen this thing. Now it's sold. What do you call that? Like deco, like modern. <laughs> That was sold. Did you guys skate around here? A little bit. What about that gap over at Gino's Cafe? Yeah. You just saw that right now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we actually I did. You just skate that. Skate well, I was just like, we were passing. I was like, wow, that no, looks perfect. That yeah. Yeah, I can just be, I can take a drive down the block, like literally a couple of blocks this way, and there's a sick spot. This place called the White Building. We pretty much skated every day. One of those spots that kids came from, like, towns all over Long Island. And then right there, this was considered our, our hip, right here. Like imagine that, skating this for like about an hour. It's like going back and forth, that little lump right there. This was probably like 89. I had like a shop sponsor. It was like a store called Ollie's and Boogies in Baldwin. And I remember trying out for it. There was like a tryout at this kid's house and, his, and, he, and he lived on a culver sac. You slept here? I mean, we used to have like a couple of nights here and there where we'd just stay up all night and just skate you know, till like seven in the morning. Shit, the white building was like just the beginning. Every, everything, like learning how to skate curbs and yeah. learning how to do manuals. When we started skating or when I started skating a lot, like every day and then, you know, local skate shops would have like jams or whatever, or like demos. All the world guys came out and did a demo at this one, this one shop in Levittown, Danny's Rideaway. And uh, it was like Kareem, Henry, Gabriel, Rodney, and uh, I don't know who else, but somehow we all ended up bringing them here to skate this spot. This is when we were just like barely kick flipping the thing or like just doing 180s over it, you know? Front side 360, I think uh, like late shove were in then. And like uh, Henry was late shove it and uh, doing late shove over it. And I remember Kareem skating flat with uh, Rodney in the front. 
this is before I knew those guys, and it was just pretty sick to have them in Long Island skating our spots, you know? I don't know if it was just because I was so young, I was so, you know, gung-ho about skating that, like, just seeing 20 kids skating was, like, incredible, you know? But it just seemed like there was a lot more back then. That's when I was, like, loving skating the most.